Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nora Shora, and I work in the George U Lab here at UT Austin, fighting cancer. And without bombarding you with a ton of statistics, I think we can all comfortably agree that cancer is a critical public health issue, with almost 40% of all men and women in the United States expected to be diagnosed with some form of cancer in their lifetime. And while we know that treatments are getting better, we're still fighting an enemy that we don't completely understand. And because of that, the way that most current treatments work is by affecting both your body's normal cells and your body's cancer cells. Lucky for us, our immune system, the same one that we use to fight off a cold or the flu, can tell the difference between a healthy cell and a cancer cell. Your body can sense when something is misbehaving and then targets it for removal. So naturally, cancer developed a way to disguise itself from your immune system. And to further clarify where I come into this story, I'm going to level with you using Star Wars. Imagine that cancer is Darth Vader. Generally bad, has a secret identity. The rest of your body is everyone else in the Star Wars universe who seems to have no idea who cancer really is. And us, we're the audience, yelling at the television because it is so obvious that Darth Vader is, spoiler alert, Anakin Skywalker. What my work aims to do is give the knowledge of the audience back to your body. The way that my treatment works is by taking away the mask and the creepy voice that cancer uses to evade your immune system. And by doing so, it allows your immune system, the Jedi, if you will, to use the force to stop cancer without as much collateral damage to your body. This approach is unique for my field. Most research inevitably affects both cancer cells and normal cells. But my work draws a clear distinction for the light side so that those cells remain unharmed. The best part is that your body can do this naturally. It just needs my help to take away cancer's defense mechanism. Hopefully the treatment that I'm working on will improve patients' chances of beating cancer without as many side effects to their body, while at the same time help us scientists learn more about the tricks used by the dark side. I'd like to thank you all for your attention today and may the force be with you.